Well, today, everybody, we're going to be doing a video on how to get Mick Thompson's guitar tone on a budget. Let's get into it. So about a week ago at the time of this filming, I put out a video titled how to get Jim Root's guitar tone on a budget. And you guys really seem to enjoy that video. Thank you guys so much for responding and engaging with that video. I'll put a link to that video down below in the description. But anyway, one of the most popular comments in that video was, hey, what about a Mick Thompson video, huh? How do we get Mick Thompson's guitar tone on a budget? And I hate to break the news to you guys, but I already did that video about like three and a half years ago. However, you're watching this video right now, so this video will serve as an update video to how to get Mick Thompson's guitar tone on a budget. So this tone demonstration video is actually kind of like ahead of its time because we still don't have a dedicated new ESP signature guitar and or a guitar equipped with Fishman's and or his signature Fishman pickups. There's a lot of rumors out there, so I'm kind of like using a little bit of deductive reasoning and just kind of getting ahead of the game here. So in 2024, we'll probably have a new guitar and a new set of Fishman pickups, but for right now in 2023, I'm doing the best I can, okay? So let's start talking, man. All I ask is that you subscribe and like and share this video if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much in advance. I brought some friends with me and uh, yeah, let's just start talking right now. I've got three key elements to Mick Thompson's guitar tone here in 2023. Starting right off, the strings. So since this video is about how to get Mick Thompson's guitar tone on a budget, you may not be able to get his string gauge to a T. There's several videos on the internet right now where Mick Thompson has said he's a Diodario string user and he also uses a custom string set. So the closest production pack that I could find on Amazon with Diodario was this one right here. Speaking of string gauges, Mick Thompson has said that in the studio, he sometimes likes to play with different low end string gauges, like on the low B or the low A. And I've heard him say he likes a 58 sometimes for B and even heavier for drop A. Since this video is about on a budget, this is the string pack that I could find on Amazon that was as close to that. And we were going from 11 to 56. If you want to build your own custom string set with a company like, say, Stringjoy, you certainly can do that. But I think, in my opinion, 11, 14, 19, 32, 44, and 56 does the job for drop B on a 25 and a half inch scale very well. So, Diodario strings. Next, let's talk about the amplifier and how to get Mick Thompson's tone on a budget. For a long time now, give or take four or five years, Mick Thompson has been using Omega amplifiers. And to the best of my knowledge, he's used the Obsidian from Omega Ampworks throughout the duration of him being with that company. He's been with the Omega team for quite some time, and what's cool about the Powered by Omega team is they teamed up with Neural DSP about four years ago, three and a half years ago, something like that, and they created their own plugin suite. They created the Granifier. Now the Granifier amplifier was called the Iridium, but now it's the Granifier, and it only has one channel. So what Omega and Neural DSP did with the Granifier plugin is they created their own Mick Thompson preset. And honestly, I don't really think a lot of people know about this individual preset in the Powered by Omega Granifier plugin. It has Mick Thompson's literal name in the drop-down menu, along with V-Man as well. And this plugin, up until very recently, was the only plugin to my knowledge, that had any ties with Slipknot. It wasn't until the Jay Weinberg Mixwave came out that we had another plugin dedicated to Slipknot's tones, but even that's vastly different. That's drum stuff. We're sticking with guitars right now. Yeah, right inside the Grandfire plugin, you have a dedicated preset to Mick Thompson, and what better way to get Mick Thompson's tone than to literally use the preset dedicated to his tone from the amp company that he plays, and his tech, Mike, is like the co-owner and co-founder of Powered by Omega. Like, you're gonna get really, really close, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of intel into that one individual preset. And last but not least, let's talk about the guitar. So you might be asking, why the heck do I have this neon orange Solar, right? This guitar right here is the main reason why I'm making this video, and this is gonna really seal the deal in my opinion. The biggest update and the biggest news story with Mick Thompson's tone is he's no longer using Seymour Duncan blackouts live. He's been seen using ESP guitars, which is crazy, and in all of those ESP guitars, they are equipped with Fishman pickups. Now there's a whole debate on the internet right now about pickups don't matter and blah, 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 blah. Dude, I'm not here to prove that or disprove that right now, sticking solely with the Mick Thompson tone video. I have in this Solar guitar, I have the signature Fluff Fishman pickup. And now in my experience, I think Fishman's have a very distinct sound. I think all active pickups kind of sound very similar, give or take, except for Fishman's. I think Fishman's have the most unique sound, the most attack, the most clarity. For better or for worse, sometimes it could be a little harsh on the high end, but regardless, 
Fishmans just have this crazy attack and this crazy just like snarl and just like initial uh, sound you know what i mean <laughs> i hope my voice impersonation made you guys understand exactly what i was talking about right there it should have right and speaking on the whole budget side of things right now yes fishman pickups are very expensive arguably some of the most expensive pickups on the market so if you just want to get a bridge pickup that will certainly do the trick that's how i have this guitar right here and i just think it'll just get you so close to that just gnarly modern sound that Fishman's have. Doesn't matter if it's the Devin Townsend, the Kill Switch, the Lamb of God, or the Willie Adler, I guess I should say, the Tosins, you know, they all kind of have this really just crazy sound to me and crazy in a good way. I just went with the fluff because I love fluff and, you know, it's the only Fishman I have right now. <laughs> And just being fully transparent here, this pickup costs more than the plug-in itself. The plug-in's like 99 euros, this is 180 bucks, so it's almost double in price. And if you don't want to get a set of Fishman's or just a Fishman bridge pickup, you still can pick up his signature Seymour Duncan blackouts on Amazon, as well as some of his production Jackson guitars. But in my opinion, what you get for a pickup is just going to just make your sound sound that much better. And obviously I'm not naive to the fact that you also do need a guitar, that goes without saying. But I wanted to try something a little bit different and just give a different recommendation. I think the pickup is where it's at, especially when it comes to fishnets. So everybody, with that being said, what do you guys think of my thoughts and opinions on how to get Mick Thompson's guitar tone? on a budget it's an updated version of this video 2023 he's got some new gear but some of the same stuff but yeah man i just think mick thompson going to fishman is such a cool thing and i just think that tone that he's getting now with fishman's <whistles> sounds awesome so everybody with that being said leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section and subscribe if you haven't done so i'm out of here y'all stay safe stay healthy and stay metal see you guys next time later